Hey, hi, hello. Would you believe that all of the animated subtitles you're seeing right now were made from the exact same drag and drop plugin? You should, uh, cause it's real, uh, it's out today. I'm gonna show it to you right now. If you follow the link in the description, you'll get to the store page for Subtitle Pro. And if you are watching this video at launch, you'll be able to get this plugin completely for free. More info on that a little bit later. If you choose to grab that, you can download, uh, you can zip, unzip it. You got this DRFX, double click to install. And then inside DaVinci Resolve uh, in the effects library, Title, Sterling Supply Code, you have Subtitle Pro. Drop that on Timeline, and hey, uh, a little hey pops up, holds for five seconds, and then uh, goes away. That's pretty cool, right? That is, that, that is cool but it's just the beginning. If I select Subtitle Pro, open my inspector, the first thing to note is that you have all of your usual text plus controls here, including importantly, the shading tab. But uh, the really cool thing is over here on the new animation tab. I have a whole bunch of custom controls here. The first two being in and out. Uh, it animates in and it animates out. If you don't want either of those, like if you don't want an animate out, then you uncheck that, it animates in, holds, and then just cuts out. And underneath that, you have animation length. This is the length in frames that this animation will take, uh, whether you have it on either in or out or both of them, this is the length in frames that animation will take. Then you have a few toggles, and these are the main different animations that you can mix and match. This one just has a scale and a fade. Uh, I can toss a rotate on there as well, or just undo the scale, also toggle on a slide, now it will slide in while it rotates or slide in while it scales. And you can see in rotate, if I toggle that back on, uncheck slide, it does rotate, but I can also crank up that rotate angle. That's, that's so much, that's way too much. <laughs> and then now it rotates a lot more. And if I just have fade and slide, it'll come in from there. And I can change if I go to where that animation is coming in, I can change the slide distance it is coming from and also the angle it is coming from. And then finally, once it's in there, uh, you can toggle on just a shake for as long as that text is there. It'll just have a little bit of shake. You can turn up the strength, uh, the wobble, the speed. You can change all of these to have it be as hectic or sort of as smooth as you want. And I'm sure uh, you can start to already see how much you can mix and maxies and make lots of really unique, cool animations super easily. But Somehow that is still just the beginning. <laughs> like I said, a massive strength of this is the shading tab. Right now I just have uh, two layers, uh, this white text and then the blue outline here. You can change to whatever you want, uh, but you can stack up to eight of these. So you can do lots of really cool stuff. I have other videos about shading uh, elements. They are very cool, uh, but you mix any of these and then all that animation applies to all of your shading elements. So you can customize an animation you really like. Yeah, like if I just have, you know, a, a scale and a rotate, let's get this back down to something like 180 with a shake. So now whew, it toggles on, cool. And let's say uh, you wanted to do like I did in the intro, just have these one after another. This does animate on and then just like cuts away. Now. Watch this. The sort of intended use case here is to do this as you like watch along with a video, but uh, I have a keyboard shortcut to just uh, splice at my playhead. So now if I start playing this and just uh, select that keyboard shortcut to just cut, 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 like as new words were popping up, then now as I go back and play, it will play that animation on each new clip. This is, uh, you know, the popular style where it animates in and instantly cuts away to the next word. And uh, once these are cut up, they are completely separate. So I could come back in here, um, change any of these shading elements or even the animation itself. If, you know, I did just want uh, a slide and a fade for this one, then it would like rotate, 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 slide, rotate, rotate, rotate. Now, if I get to this last clip, oh, last clip works well. Okay, if you run into any issues, uh, on any of these clips, like if you go back and add another splice, if you run into an issue where it's like not showing the correct animation, uh, just try like nudging the in or out point a little bit with the ways it is sort of like calculating the timing for these animations. Uh, sometimes you just need to like nudge the out point for any of them, but that that is the only small thing you need to be aware of. So if you want the same animation for your subtitles, it can be super fast to just customize that beforehand, customize the shading. But um, this is really, really powerful where you can sort of get a, a base level level animation up and running. And then for each word, you can always adjust the timing really easily after the fact. You can always adjust the individual shading elements after the fact as well. So all sorts of different looks, your animation, um, you can even uh, come in, like toggle them back out if you want something to uh, come in and then out. Oh, it's cool. <laughs> So like I said, follow the link in the description to get to the stored page for this. And if you are watching this video within the first 48 
hours. You can download this plugin completely for free. If you're one of the people that follow the channel closely, we're gonna reward you with th this cool plugin. <laughs> After, it'll just be a few bucks up on the store. But hey, while you're on that site, I absolutely check out the other of the, you know, the dozens of free plugins I already have available that will stay free for Resolve or some of the other, you know, smaller paid products or larger paid products or memberships. There's lots of stuff on the site. It's pretty cool. I've been working on this for a while. I am very, very excited to finally release it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.